Hi, I'm Stevie C and the Poise to Be, and I get asked to design the weirdest PCBs. As the saying goes, sometimes a rocket is just a rocket. Not this time, though. As another saying goes, growing old is mandatory, growing up is optional. I hope this gave the workers in the JLC PCB factory a giggle, or maybe they're not as easily amused as I am. Anywho, I just want to draw your attention to this bit of weirdness here. JLC seem to have printed the silk screen on the reverse of the PCB along with the copper layer. Not that this matters because I'm planning on soldering the resistors on the back, then spray painting the front of the PCB black, and then soldering the LEDs into place. Because I'm soldering the resistors on the side that they're inserted from, I'm using two rolls of solder to prop up the PCB while I do this. Normally I'd paint the board before installing the components, but as you can maybe see, my snips are marking the PCB as I crop down the resistor legs. So now you'll hopefully see that the paint has covered up those scratch marks. Time for the LEDs. For this project, I'm using 5mm slow diffused colour changing ones. Because the voltage will fluctuate based on the LED colour, I've included provision for an electrolytic capacitor. And here's one I made earlier, this time with red LEDs and flickering white LEDs for the... uh... stuff. Here's my pink one. I like this interesting effect of the white LEDs. This happens because of them being in parallel with an RGB fast cycling LED on the rear of the PCB, whose forward voltage ramps up and down depending on the colour it's producing. I've tried selling these on Facebook Marketplace, but they've been banned for adult content. Well, actual adult content remains online, but that's a rant for another video. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching this project. If you did, like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, thanks for watching.